private well, figure. Understood. As far as urinating, I understand. But in terms of just the analysis alone, um, as far as their ability to rebut any... And we start the pleading with a Supreme Court of the United States quote. Inmates in jails, prisons, or mental institutions retain certain fundamental rights of privacy. They are not like animals in a zoo to be filmed and photographed at will by the public or by media reporters. Just because someone is arrested, taken into custody, held at the police station, it doesn't mean that he or she has forfeited his rights of privacy, and certainly not in those bodily functions that are at issue in this case. Is the analysis any different when there is a public figure involved, as opposed to a regular private person who doesn't have access to the media, does not, is not in the public eye on a daily basis? Sometimes it's hard to draw lines, Your Honor. This is not a hard line to draw. All we are asking, first, is that the court hold an in-camera review, and second, if what you see on that videotape is as what has been described in court, that the court hold as a matter of law, that when a person arrested, a presumptively innocent person is in custody, if the police film him or her urinating, there is no reason why the media should make a spectacle of that event, even if it happens to be someone who is high profile. That's for monitoring, but there's also what's captured in that monitoring. And the point of the matter is, in our situation, because we believe that those tapes are part of our criminal investigation.